New Mexico looking to capitalize on the win over Tulsa on Saturday as Amando Moreno, the El Salvadorian national team call-up, gets us started. Stouffer in behind the back line, plays the cross in, settled once, big stop from Ford Parker. Still bouncing around in New Mexico. And Carlton doing a really good job in the press, making New Mexico United uncomfortable playing out. Las Vegas have really found a foothold in this game in the last five minutes. It was Rios that got the initial touch and then Bagley came in to get the shot off. And what a reaction there from the Albuquerque native Ford Parker. Eight. Two goals so far this season for Justin Portillo. Cross goes in and it hits the woodwork. As Zuluaga probably breathing a sigh of relief there. And just used all the pace. Portillo puts a wicked amount of pace on this. You can see how much space he's got there in between the two centre-backs. Las Vegas inquest going on right now, working out who's, whose man that was. But yeah, found a lovely little pocket. Zuluaga was completely beaten. You see the helpless look he gives over his left shoulder. And he's thankful. You would now. Yearwood looking for Moreno, he links up with him. Moreno hits the brakes and Moreno's opened up the scoring. The El Salvadorian tacks on his eighth goal of the season and the black and yellow on top here in the 34th minute. Puts it past it, despairing Zulaga there where you see there he just takes that extra touch and you're wondering, has the chance passed? But no, he still manages to pop it in the bottom corner. So after the good news earlier on today, he puts the cherry on top with the opening goal. Take that 22 goals for the El Salvadorian in black and yellow since joining the club. Lights looking for a quick answer. As Bailey had to come in, whipped on the challenge, another big save from Ford Parker. The recovery speed, and they always say the most dangerous time is the first five minutes after you score a goal. And you next screen. It's the shot hit right at the keeper. You got to feel like is it, that's placed anywhere else. It's got a great chance of going in. And speaking of. Off the corner kick, the visitors have equalized here in the 36th minute. It was an answer back just two minutes later. It was Marcelo Lage with the equalizer. The, the fall and foul of the, the oldest trick in the book and just a run of the mill ball in the box. And it just, just gets up high. He gets up early, so it makes it hard for, I can't see who the defender is, who's trying to defend him there. I think it's Swartz as well. And because he jumps early, it just makes it impossible for Swartz to get anywhere near it. And he's a big boy as well, and just pops it in that bottom corner. And Mexico United, that lead did not last very long at all. Seven appearances for Inter Miami 2 of the MLS Next Pro last season. Bagley, and Bagley sneaks this one past Ford Parker. And Las Vegas Lights have gone up here at the lab in the 51st minute. Still, it's hit with such venom there. Let's see, comes inside. I think he's unsighted because of Kalen Ryden stepping out there and right in the corner. Like, could not get more in the corner there. So, what a great finish by Bagley. First goal of the season for the 24 year old Tyler Back. Ryden now. Ryden going on a run. Lights able to clear the danger and Lights now. Have numbers going back the other way. It's Carlton threading it through for Bagley. Bagley goes across and Lights have scored a third. Danny Rios scoring his third goal over the last two matches. And it's just that one extra pass. So it's Carlton plays it out wide there. What a ball across it is as well. And it was Bagley as well with his weaker foot. Just rolls the ball across. First time finish. Is that Rios at the back post? First time finish, can't really miss from there. Ah, three goals and two. Looks like it. Sam Hamilton's day is done. And Justin Portillo as well. Terrell, the captain for this Las Vegas light side, has an assist here tonight. So this is his second assist on the season. Here's Rivas. Flips it forward for Moreno. And that's two for Armando Moreno. And New Mexico. Have a lifeline with 15 minutes left. 
And another look here on this TLC replay. And it all started with the run of Sergio Rivas. He made his way around two Las Vegas Lights defenders in route to chipping that one over. And the link up play between those two and the finish from Moreno. <laughs> cool as you see, like. And then you can see Greg Hurst just puts, puts the keeper into the net for good measure. I think Rivas was aiming for. Buckle up. So this might be it. One of the most entertaining seven minutes we've seen. Right in! Heads that one, and Zuluaga up to the task. Right in, did he push off maybe? No, when he, oh, in the middle there. Who's that? Is that Will Seymour, I think? Yeah, that's a coming together with one of the Las Vegas players, and I believe the referee's called that, but Foul brought it back there because that was a great header, great save. Seymour as is up to win the header and here comes New Mexico once again play on says the official Greg Hurst out in front Greg Hurst kick save what a save from Zuluaga great save by Zuluaga there and just does enough put it out for a corner but you can see he's just waiting for the net to, to mention celebrated his 20th birthday six days ago this is Bank of America corner kick dealt with by lights momentarily falls down to Harry Swartz now Swartz being double teamed into Seymour. Still Seymour. Will Seymour! Are you serious? Will Seymour! New Mexico have tied it up here in the dying moments. 3-3. And now, Chris, all eyes waiting to see how much stoppage time is left. Yeah, and now all that time wasting of Las Vegas slides come back, come back to comes back to bite them. Easy for me to say there, but you see just the despair and lunge. Headed away by Carroll. And that is the full-time whistle at the lab. A six-goal shootout between New Mexico United and Las Vegas Lights ends all square.